wasn't looking real pretty. I didn't look real pretty before, but even more so now. I'm making a video, not really to whine and complain because I try not to do that because I know things can be a lot worse. But I want to talk a minute about living with chronic health conditions. If you look, sorry, that's my remote, the bed. <clears throat> if you look in my playlist, there's a couple of videos that describe some of my health issues. Sometimes, um, a couple of things will be acting up and I'm okay. I mean, I deal with it. A lot of it is chronic pain. And as a lot of you um, know that deal with chronic pain, I know there's a couple. I'm sorry. There was a spot. I want to make sure it was clean. Anyway, I know Dave and a few other people deal with chronic pain for different um, reasons. But <clears throat> some days they start out pretty good and you don't do anything. And then they just hit all at once. And it's very frustrating when you have children who want you to do very simple things. Like, hey mom, can you fix me something to eat? Or hey mom, you want to listen to me practice the flute? Um, Hey, you want to hang out for a little bit? And a lot of times it breaks my heart because I have to tell her, come in here to my room so I can do that. Recently, <clears throat> the last couple of days, well, a few weeks ago, I had some weight gain. I have congestive heart failure. And I took extra water pills over the last few days. And everything seemed okay. I got rid of a lot of the extra fluids. Because I have, believe it or not, I'm like a potato with french fry legs. I'm fat on top and I got skinny legs so by looking at my feet and my ankles and and then the way my rings fit I can tell if I've got extra fluid because and coughing I will cough more <clears throat> anyway so things kind of got under control ish and then over the last 24 hours, I guess, things are getting poopy again. Um, getting a little harder to breathe, a little more coughing, weight gain, just feeling really bad. Sarah did come in here and we kind of snuggled on the hospital bed. It's twin size. So for two big girls, it was kind of rough. But we watched a movie. Which was really funny. Had Sally Fields in it. I, I swear I can't even remember the name. But it's where she has that crush on a co-worker. Who's younger. Anyway. We watched that. She practiced the flute. I made her a little pocket card. It's just real simple. A pocket letter. To put in her binder. 
um, because she said her binder is ugly. And now she's got something pretty to show off. And it's only the second one I've made. I made one that I'm sending out soon. And then I made her that. Just a minute. Sorry, I didn't want to have a coughing fit in your face. I'm not contagious. The last four or five, five days, it's after midnight, so it's be day six. Hopefully it'll be better. But I've been dealing with a lot of nausea. Someone mentioned, I can't remember who it was now, but someone mentioned maybe it's a side effect to medication. All of my medications seem to give me side effects in which I need a medication to deal with that side effect, in which I need a medication to deal with the side effect from the side effect medication. I've been dealing with that for years. It's pathetic, really. It's a vicious cycle. But nothing's changed, not even my insulin dosage. So I don't think it's that. And I don't think it's contagious because Sarah would have gotten it. And she's been, she's had the sniffles and stuff which is going around, but she hasn't had any of the stomach stuff. When I say stomach, I mainly just say nausea because there's not too often much else besides some cramping. Um, but, you know, I have Finagrin, which is prescription strength. Um, I wish I had Zofran, it's a little stronger. Or it works a little better for me when I've been in the hospital with nausea. But anyway, <clears throat> so I'm just, the point of the video is you never know what someone's going through. And I know most you know anyway, but a lot of people, for example, my ex-husband used to ask me a lot back when he did care, I guess, at one point he did. You know, he's like, why are you always so happy and laughing and being this jovial person when you're hurting all the time? And as many of you know that deal with chronic pain, any kind of chronic pain, if it's something you know what it is or you don't know, you can't cry. There's the time to cry. Believe me, I cry. And I know you do too. We're only human. We're not superheroes here. But you can't go through life constantly, constantly crying and being upset. Now, I do have to admit, when I'm hurting, I do end up getting snappy, especially to the people closest to me which would be Sarah, I have no one else. I have a couple of friends, but, so I get short-tempered and annoyed with her at times. And I do apologize to her because I don't mean to be that way. And another thing about having chronic health conditions is every time you go to the doctor, I'm speaking for myself, Every time I go to the doctor, it seems I'm, I'm getting a new diagnosis, a new syndrome, or a new this or a new that. Now, I don't have anything terminal. I pray I never do. But I have enough stuff to where I get sick of it. I get so sick of it. Sometimes... Now, I'm not saying I'm suicidal. I have been in the past. But I just get so tired. I get so tired. And there's these mystery symptoms going on. And some of them are going on now. Like the balance issues and the vertigo. And the, um, the, the vision issues and I'm running into walls and I'm dropping things and you know like I've said in the past in past videos I've been told get checked for MS get checked for fibromyalgia 
get checked for this or that, and I know people mean well. But they don't understand sometimes not knowing is better than knowing because it's just one more thing to add to my medical list, my medical history. And it's just one or two or three or four more medications that I have to take daily. So sometimes not knowing is, is okay, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of you. I guess I really don't have a point to this video except for I don't know I guess I'm venting again another venting video hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight Hopefully you guys are having a good night, morning actually, because I think it's about one, I'm not sure. But anyway, when people tell you they don't feel good, sometimes they really don't. When people tell you they're really happy, life is going great, sometimes it's not. So be gentle and love everyone because you don't know what they're going through. And I guess that's the moral of the story. And I'm sorry this is another long video. But anyway, God bless and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, take care, bye.